security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Students are asked not to ask questions. to Campus Radio. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms, narrating your coming-of-age story in all its awkward post-adolescent glory. Here's a song that perfectly captures the mood. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension.
minded to be inspirational. Today, students have been spotted eating what some are calling nice looking baguettes. Naturally, everyone is asking where they can get a nice looking baguette. We don't have an answer for you, but join us for some wild speculation later in the show. Education is non refundable. to the hospital. Thank you. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. And now, here's Wanda with the latest music trends. Tapes are in. Yes, those little rectangular guys are all anyone who's anyone is listening to. They're fabulous. Streaming can go on forever. But tapes? Tapes end. Don't you see? They end. One minute there's music, and then bang, gone. Just like us. Oh, and they've gone out of style. Frequently asked questions. No, I will not be your friend.
Grades are reminded that some grades are personal. bonuses. Whoa! Is that... It can't be! New from Cheesy Gubbins. One big gubbin. Out of your dreams and into your mouth. are reminded that I'm not your mom. We promised you speculation and here it is. Our sources tell us that a van parked on campus and began to sell not only baguettes, but a variety of pastries as well. One bystander described the shock. It just came out of nowhere. Next thing I knew, it was gone and I was holding this really nice looking baguette. What a day. There you have it. Lightning doesn't tend to strike twice, but here's hoping for more serendipitous pasty vans in our collective future. There's a fly in here.
are reminded that there's no such thing as free time.
Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Greetings, greetings, and welcome to the show. We all have our passion projects, don't we? Our dreams, our hobbies, our oddly job-like hobbies and odd jobbies. Personally, I moonlight as a writer of mysteries. Up next, I'll be taking you to a black and white world of mystery and intrigue. The much-anticipated return of Inspector Blanbury in... Pinched Puddings and Just Desserts. Now taking students for academic exercise. Students should check in before trying to learn. It's not your year, it's just another year. Hitting the balls doesn't mean what you think it means. It was a summery kind of summer, and Blanbury had scarcely caught his breath, fresh after outsmarting the smoggly cat burglar when an invitation to tea dove inauspiciously through his letterbox. Such are the demands on a world-class detective and conversationalist. No rest for a world-class detective and conversationalist. Arriving at Flackley House, 
our inspector was met with two familiar smells. One promised scones, the other calamity. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. And so to tea, where the sandwiches came and went without the intervention of evil, though Blambury feared the host had been a little overzealous with the cucumber, when, quite of a sudden, the lights went out. Ah! Oh, sorry, I'm always doing that. The light came up, and Blambury began to doubt himself. Perhaps what he felt was nothing but a herring of red. Alas.
Mice are reminded to find themselves. Some gubbiny grub in your gob with cheesy gubbins. The essence of cheese. Ch -ch -ch cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. You know you want to. Interrupt our mystery for the news. Hogsport Lighthouse gone missing. Student strikes cause university closure. And Mayor threatens to triple taxes. Lovely. Now that's done, we can return to the matter at hand. Will Inspector Blanbury crack the case? Wouldn't you like to know? Frequently asked questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on.
expensive, and education is priceless. questions will make you look stupid. But who would do such a thing? Who would stoop to the lowly heights populated only by reprobates and tribal thieves? To the kitchen! Indeed, the trifle was gone without so much as a trace. However, in its place was a single white glove. <gasps> Why? A glove? The fiend must have removed it in the excitement. What good is a glove, dear Blenbury? A glove is no pudding. Ah, but it may yet lead us to pudding. Fetch the hogs! Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. are reminded that you came here on purpose. are reminded that this is the fun part.
They followed the jolly hounds through the grounds, the crunch of the gravel building to a crescendo of narrative tension, and then to grass and sight of the lake and the old willow, where, sitting against the weeping tree, they found the gloveless culprit. None other than Foggleton, the butler. Oh, Foggleton, how could you? I'm fired, aren't I? I should think so, yes. Hard work may or may not pay off. As they say, the butler did it. It just goes to show, you never can trust the help. Well, that's another masterpiece in the collection. But how do I do it? Really, it's a deliciously delicate balance of extreme talent and profound humility. Join me again tomorrow for more criminally underrated radio. Ta-da! The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? The yearly results are in. Wow, didn't we do well?
know where your class is, is it really worth going? asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. such thing as free time. Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio. This is Harrison Wolf, and I will be your host of this little Sonic get together. This is the party within the party. The sandwich and the lunchbox. The thing in the thing. I'll think of some words, and we'll be right back.
table is now live. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. Today, local film star Roderick Cushion is in a spot of bother after he was photographed throwing a bagel at some photographers. And it's pretty bad luck that those freelance photographers were in his bathroom at the exact moment he decided to start flinging bagels. I mean, what are the chances? are expensive and education is priceless.
I've lived in Two Point County for more years than I can remember, but every now and then I still hear an expression for the first time. This morning, I bumped into Ricky Hawthorne, and after a nice chat, he says, time to see a man about a dolphin. I have no idea what it could mean. Don't tell me, though. That man's an enigma, and I choose to keep him that way. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. Attended sandwiches will be eaten by me. and grab your briefcase because Cat Court is in session. This season, it's all litigation and litter trays. The Bureaucats. New episode every week on Bundle Pictures. If you hear this, please drink some water. Thank you.
Terrorism is not a belief system. Harrison Wolf talking the days away on Two Point Radio. We got a lot more radical radio for you today. There will be music, there will be speaking, and if we're lucky, we'll have some county shaking news that'll make us see life differently forever. But first, I gotta find my pencil. Wish me luck.
had a pretty sweet segment lined up for you, but my producer is waving his arms at me through the glass. Yep, waving back hasn't seemed to help much. I'll see what he has to say while you listen to my new favorite song. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Sorry about that confusion. It was nothing serious. My producer just had certain opinions about the content I had planned. I like being censored as much as the next guy, but little did they know. They can't stop me thinking about it. The brain is the last refuge of the so-called undesirable thought. It's a party up there, and boy, is it a fun one. Students are reminded to find themselves.
to ask questions. End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying. That's it for today's show. I don't know if it's been a classic, but who am I to say? These things need to marinate in the passing of time. Only then will we know if today was a classic day. Who knows? Maybe what I'm saying right now is making or breaking the show. Have I just ruined it? What about now? Trippy. I'll be back for more radio.
Enter to install upgrade, please. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. The yearly results are in. Wow, didn't we do well? The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? Now that's easy listening. The sound of Two Point County on Two Point Radio. Ricky Holford waxing the waves lyrically and literally on Two Point Radio. Why don't you listen to this next track and I'll take that pebble out of my shoe. Don't eat homework. Breaking news for you on Two Point Radio. A zoo worker at the Crockle Bay Zoo has fallen into the gibbon enclosure. It's being reported that they're not under any immediate danger and zoo officials are currently negotiating with the gibbons for the employee's release.
If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. questions. No, I will not be your friend. Sometimes I get asked what I would have done had I not gone into the disc jockeying trade. Well, as a young boy, I dreamed of being a spy. Yes, I pined for a life of international intrigue and late night dinners at the county's expense. Sadly, to be a spy, you need to be able to whisper, and I just can't do it. When it comes to disclosing secrets, you don't want my persistent volume and crystal clear intonation. Doctor, return to the hospital. Thank you. bonuses.
schoolwork, moron, social life, exercise, coward. I just can't do it all. There's only one way to fit everything in. Make your life jumbo. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. The academic year is starting. I hope you have a pencil. on campus. You know what to do. Students are reminded that I'm not your mom. And we've got an update for you on the story of a zoo worker that fell into the gibber enclosure. We're now hearing that the employee is rising through the gibbon social structure. Fascinating stuff. There's no word on what gibbons are, but I believe they're a kind of amphibious cat. Little smooth creatures with whiskers and a big bushy tail. Fantastic.
students are reminded that some grades are personal. are reminded to have the time of their lives. are reminded that some grades are personal. Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. It's Harrison Wolf going to the county sock draw on Two Point Radio. I just had a very big sleep, so it's going to be a lively one. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me.
Live music is like fresh fruit and vegetables, man. It's better than the stuff in a can, and when the opportunity presents itself, you gotta cram as much of it in you as possible. That's just sensible, healthy living. You can't have too much of a good thing, that's why they call it a good thing. When I was young, I used to stand right next to the speakers and drink it in until I couldn't hear a thing. That's how I knew I was full. is not a belief system.
Did you see those student protests at Mitten University the other day? It's all a little peaceful for my liking. Sure, I can respect the vibe, but sometimes you gotta ruffle some feathers. When I was in school, they took away mashed potato Tuesdays, so a few of us got into the school mascot's coop, and boy, did we ruffle that chicken. It was all friendly, of course, but they knew we meant business. Just some food for thought, my student comrades. Go get your mashed potatoes. <laughs> Or like a milkshake. Ah. But drinking too much milk can and will make you uncontrollably ill. <laughs> Be safe and try to have very slightly less than that. This message is brought to you by the Milkmaid Corporation. Students are reminded that this is the fun part.
staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. How's it going? You're listening to Two Point Radio, the most popular station in the greater Two Point County area. Nice. We're serving more great radio with a side of insidious advertising right after this.
As longtime listeners will know, I have a wide range of hobbies and interests, but jogging isn't one of them. I mean, think about it, going around and around a track or a park in an endless, exhausting loop to feel satisfaction? If you ask me, it's just another trick that big business uses to train our brains into total subordination. I'm sitting down, man. There's no moving me. Bungle gets a lot of praise in the press. I just don't think it's healthy for something, anything, to get talked about in such a positive light. It makes my eyebrows uncomfortable. Sure, they've been responsible for a lot of so-called technological advances, and some of you might love your automatic toilet paper dispensers, but I was doing just fine on the toilet. Thank you very much. Sports match on campus. I'm told they have cheese.
All right. I am out of here. I hope you all have a righteous rest of your day and that the constant fear of alien abduction, natural disaster, and revolutionary upheaval doesn't stop you from having a fine and restful evening. Hopefully there's a next time. that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. Start of a new year. 
Welcome to the show. I'm Richard E. Hawthorne, and you join me today for Two Point Radio's Election Day Special. We'll be talking all things mayoral as Two Point County approaches another important day in its history, and indeed, its future. Get in touch to tell us what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Who will be the next mayor of Two Point County? You decide. Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Announcement. Plants need water. Remember?
We're back. Today's election sees incumbent Mayor Tabitha Winsock take on all challengers. One such foe is Gumbo McNally. Yes, the cousin of Jumbo CEO, Jumbo McNally. Ms. Winsock has held a steady, some say tedious lead in the polls over Mr. McNally. But what effect, if any, will his last gas speech have on today's proceedings? If you missed it, Mr. McNally finished a rousing 12-minute display with a story of how he once took a modest pile of change from his father and turned it into an impressive lunchtime spread featuring sandwiches, crisps, and sausage rolls. Oh, now that is impressive. Frequently asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. questions. No, you can't have an extension. This from Michelle and Smogley. I spoke to Mayor Winsock after a Q&A once and told her that I'd written her a letter. She said that she remembered reading it, but I'd never sent it to her. So what? Did she break into my house? Or is she, like, telepathic, but just with post? What a lovely anecdote, Michelle. And aren't we lucky to have a mayor that's willing to go above as well as beyond? Education is non-refundable.
Finishing. New to the Crumley Student Range, Chicken Stompers. Take the smoothest natural chicken matter from Crumley Farm's boneless chickens. Add our secret seasoning and a touch of traditional stabilizing agent and step. You've got Crumley's Chicken Stompers, breaded for palatability. They really could be anything. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Skills are not transferable. Thank you. 